This is not a new product, but I'm going to be unboxing it anyway because it is a new product. Ooh. This is the Intel Core i5-760, and the i5 is not a new thing, but the 760 is, so it's kind of half old, half new. This is a quad-core processor, and it does not support hyper-threading, but it does support Turbo Boost. So basically, it's just like the Core i5-750, but a little bit faster. So the actual stock clock speed of the Core i5-760 is, as we can see here, 2.8 gigahertz versus the 2.66 gigahertz stock frequency of the i5-750. That's pretty much the only difference. It's still got an 8 meg cache. Uh, it's still a Linfield class CPU, so that means that it fits in LGA 1156. But please note, this, since it's a quad core and not a dual core i5 processor, it does not support onboard graphics. So if you have an H55 chipset motherboard, you won't be able to use the onboard graphics. It has a three year warranty. It includes an Intel cooling solution, which we're just gonna Okay, we're gonna look at like that. So it's very thin, very wussy. With all the Core i5s, especially the quad cores, I really do recommend getting a decent aftermarket cooler from the likes of Arctic Cooling or Noctua or one of those other good aftermarket cooler brands. I mean, this will work, but especially if you're gonna be doing any overclocking. And I mean, this is gonna be an overclocking champ because the only real difference between it and the 750 is that it has a higher multiplier. So you're gonna be able to take it further with a lower overall base clock. You can see here the CPU has a bit of a brushed metal look to it. And you know what? This is something that actually we had a, a complaint a little while ago about. You see these one, two, three, four spots. And this, I don't know if you can see it. You certainly won't be able to see it in the shadows here. Maybe if I bring this over to the light, you can see a faint square outline. Can you see that in the camera? No, uh, I'll try different angles. But you can see sort of a, a, a line on the heat spreader like this if you get it at a certain angle. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll hope you are able to see it. But basically, we had someone complain that their CPU had been opened because it had uh, uh, this mark on it and it had some thermal compound residue. Now, my understanding is that Intel actually tests these uh, and that is why they do have the marks on them and they aren't they aren't pristine when you take them out of the box So that was just something I wanted to mention to our viewers if you get an Intel CPU that has a little bit of marking on it It's not necessarily a problem on the bottom. There are 1156 pads where the pins on the CPU socket make contact and thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Intel Core i5 760